You're going to love him. Put your hands together for Eric Clark. What's up, San Francisco? Excited to be here, man. I told my dad I was coming down to Cobb's Comedy Club to do some stand-up comedy. I was like, damn, I'll be at Cobb's Comedy Club. My dad looked at me and was like, you know Sears is hiring. You need to be a comedian with a job. You ain't that funny, nigga. I used to be a substitute teacher, and uh, real teachers would like give me advice how to be a better instructor. I had to tell them, like, look, I really appreciate your advice. I appreciate what you're trying to say, but I'm trying to make my mortgage. I'm not trying to make a difference. Fuck these kids. You know? <laughs> I'm here until 2.30, all right? <laughs> this little boy had the nerve to ask me a question at 2.35. Man, you didn't hear the bell, dude? <laughs> I'm off, man. Same after school special. My name is E. Clark, not Joe Clark. Don't lean on me. You can look into some of these kids' eyes and you can tell that one day you going to jail. Your little ass is going to jail. <laughs> Keep leaning like a cholo and I say, oh, your ass is going to jail. <laughs> they had good benefits at that job, though, man. You know, I had Blue Shield. Yeah, it's better than what I got now. Now I got to be careful. <laughs> I'm tired of these kids, man. They, they, at the school, man, they sagging in their pants too low. These thugs, man, they wearing their pants, man, damn near around their knees, man. This shit is ridiculous to me. And it's my generation fault. My generation, we started the sagging. I got a little bit of sag jumping off right here, right now. I was looking at some pictures of my dad. My dad grew up in the 70s and the 60s, and he was in a doo-wop singing group. Them brothers back then did not sag. I saw a picture of my dad. They, they pants were pulled. They shit was... Tucked in. This shit was pulled up here. He was on the corner singing do up to my who's making love to your woman lady. While you were out making love, I said who? 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 Making love. My mother was not sagging. They had a switch bag in their back pocket right here. What not sagging. What's the next generation gonna do? The next generation always takes it further, don't they? After this, they're just gonna be carrying their damn pants, just carrying. <laughs> Looking like a ghetto matador, man. Just... San Francisco, man. I, I was down here recently. I went to the club, but the club wasn't even cool, man. It was not cool for me. I went to this club, and this lesbian had the same outfit I had on. <laughs> I was like, damn, I gotta stop shopping at Forever 21. This is... <laughs> this is... <laughs> People thought we were a dance team. We ain't no damn dance team. <laughs> I'm not standing next to Chas Bono, but this is some bullshit. I was wondering, like, damn, is she buying men's clothes or did I buy a blouse? What the hell? <laughs> she took off her hat, her haircut was better than mine. Damn, nice haircut. I love being bald, man, I really do. But uh, they had these late night uh, television commercials where you can like grow hair, these hair pills, and I, I had ordered some. And they actually worked. It didn't bring my hairline back, but the hair on my sides got thick than a motherfucker, boy. I had two perfectly healthy afros on each side of my ears. Just... I'm like a ghetto Princess Leia, y'all. It was... It was thick. It looked like black broccoli. It was thick. It was dense. I grew it out, I had a perfect George Jefferson, boy, I was just... <laughs> Tell you, man, I grew my hairline out, man. My hairline looks like the Bay Area, for real. I'm like, this is San Mateo right here. I'm going to Richmond and Oakland over here. <laughs> man, you guys, San Francisco did well, man, this year, man. Football, man. Football, love football. Cause that's one sport where them cats, them guys
has earned that money, don't they? There's no doubt about it. Football players are not overpaid. Them cats earn that money, especially the wide receivers. Because the wide receivers, they got to go across the middle. You know what I mean? For ladies who don't know, the middle is the most exposed part of the field where you can get fucked up. You know what I mean? There's a linebacker waiting for you across the middle. Them guys go across the middle. And I was just thinking, man, you know, what if you can just get any amount of money that you needed, but all you had to do was just go across the middle? You know what I mean? Fellas, your girl be like, you know what? You know, they gotta eat my hair, dear. I've been looking at her like, look here, bitch. You know, you better just go across the middle. <laughs> I'm doing bad right now, man. I'll go across the middle right now so I can pay my cable. I'll be laid out on the field. They'd be like, damn, fool, who you play for? The Cardinals? I'd be like, no, Comcast. <laughs> go across the middle for real, man. And I got, I'm serious, this is different times, but I got a text message the other day, I got a random text. It was like, call me sexy, XOXO. -X -O. I was like, who is this? So I called, I was like, hello, who is this? She said, you don't recognize my voice? I was like, no. She said, well, it has been months since we talked. I said, well, who is this? Stop playing on my phone. This is Bank of America. When are you gonna pay your car now? I had to hide my car, you know, writing all on my Facebook wall. Pay your bill, bitch. Crazy man, real talk man. You know, I've been you know been working out, fellas. Anybody here for workout? Work out a little bit? Jog? Not even? One motherfucker. <laughs> fellas, if you gonna go jogging, you gotta make sure you wear the right underwear though, man. I messed around, went jogging, man. Downtown Oakland, we're on the lake. You know what I mean? Didn't wear my da dunta duns. <laughs> you know your da dunta duns when you're a little kid. You be like da dunta dun, and then the tiny whities. I messed around y'all and went jogging and wore some boxers and bruised my balls up, y'all. I was jogging around Lake Mary just... And I was just at the light trying to warm up, you know? I ran through a bad neighborhood and a pit bull got behind my ass like, oh shit, dog! I had to jump a fence, fence! Ladies, I don't know why y'all laughing. You mess around wearing the wrong bra, you would slap yourself in the face with your titty. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see a lady with the wrong bra and I'd be like, oh, thank you, God. <laughs> She'd be like, ah! I'd be right behind her like, oh! Very racially diverse. I don't know if y'all know. My friend, a friend of mine, told me he said every race got their own smell. And I was like, what? But I was like, you know, it depending on your diet, every race do got a smell. Every race do got their own like little smell. You know, white people, <clears throat> y'all smell like milk. <laughs> Some y'all smell like river water and shit. <laughs> river water. <laughs> Black people, I don't even know what black people are in the house smell. What do black people smell like? You better not say chicken. You're fucking racist. You see how quick they say that? Chicken! Black people do not smell like chicken. You know what I mean? We smell like cocoa butter. So, niggas smell like chicken, alright? Newport cigarettes. Latinos, y'all smell like cilantro and aquanet. <laughs> Asians, he said, y'all smell like fingernail polish remover. <laughs> if you ever hang out with a certain race, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You can end up smelling like them. You know, you see a black guy don't hang out with nothing but white people like Kevin Avery. He smell like chocolate milk. Single people here, man, man, I'm getting ready to, you know, I'm in the middle of a divorce, and all relationships don't last, but you end up learning something. You end up taking something with you. You know, you grow from a relationship. You take something. Me, I took the furniture. <laughs> I 
my wife had a nice living room set, and I was scared she was gonna leave, you know. I wasn't gonna have nowhere to sit. <laughs> but ladies, I'm back on the market now. And I'm looking for a woman with two end tables. Two end tables? <laughs> Let's get my time. My name is E. Clark. Peace.